are okay. All right, so um, what you'll need to do, because some of you might not have the exact uh, size, the ruler that's in front of you is a clear gridded ruler. I absolutely love them. If you don't have them at home, I would highly recommend that um, you consider purchasing one from Michael's. They're about four or five bucks. Um, I'm going to get my um, mechanical pencil. If you don't have one, please let me know and I'll grab some. Uh, that was one thing on the, on the list. Um, you don't have to use a pencil, but to, I find it easier. Um, and my paper should be 15 inches. It's a te It's close, yeah. Okay, mine's 15 inches. So half of 15 is seven and a half. And so I'm just going to mark my seven and a half. So that gives me where I want to aim. And I'm going to pass out stuff for y'all to score your paper in just a second. So don't think you've got to do that with your fingernail or anything. It's a tad longer than 15, should I trim it? Uh, you can either trim it or just kind of adjust, adjust your center. Eyeball it? Yeah. All right, so the um, traditional or, I don't know, score, whatever these are called, um, they were made out of bone. What are they called? Yeah, bone folder. Huh, how about that? Um, these were more expensive. So uh, I have clay tools that work pretty well, and they'll dent your work. And it's better than trying to score it with scissors because you don't want to cut yourself. So take one and pass it around. But what you want to do is once you mark that center line, because that's the first one you want to fold, you're going to hold your ruler firm, and you want to press down along that line. When you score it then, with your tool, because see, look, how lovely that bends. It bends on that scored line. And if I don't score it first, it kind of crunkles and wrinkles. Here you go, Hillary. Alright, so. So we don't actually draw a line, we just. Uh, I did because I wanted to see it. <laughs> I wanted to see it. But I drew it very lightly. We're going to do it both ways. Uh huh. We're doing it midway, yes. Right. What are these things called? Uh, well, those are, well, those are actually clay tools. And those? Uh, it's a bone folder. Uh, yeah. Bone. Genuine bone folder. But they're harder. They're also more expensive. And uh, so it's like, eh. So half of 11 is five and a half. So I'm going to mark that. You don't, ha you don't have to draw the line, but... Uh, like, I'm not going to draw the line on this one. I'll see if I can do it yay if you hold the if you hold the ruler pretty well it works pretty good and so I'm gonna fold that in half all right so I'm gonna I, you're gonna fold do the first fold and then you want to you really want to make that um, hard line a hard fold so once it's folded I press with that tool and then I open it up just like I did the index card. And then I'm going to, I already scored the mountain one. I mean the uh, hot dog one. So now I can fold it this way. And I want to crease it really hard along here. So we have scoring it on both sides? You score it, uh, the scoring is all on the inside. Okay, so Shamila, see, like, I scored th this in half, yeah. and I folded it like that, and then I opened it back up. Then I scored it here, and I folded it this way. Because if you score it on the opposite side, 
then it's going to want to bend the opposite direction. So you want all the scoring, all your lines to be on the same side. Yeah. So now you'll do, you'll measure halfway and do a line across that. What happens if there's Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There? I forgot to turn the other lights on. What is the name of that red projector you're using? The what? That red projector. What's oh, called? it's a Lumens uh, document camera. How much do they cost? Uh, they remember. range. I think this one's around six hundred. Woo! You can okay, get it on sale. Or or yours. I mean, depending on. I wanted it to video. I wanted yeah. it to record. And um, watch the yeah. so Good County school sales. They might still be selling some old ones. Yeah. Some people kept them. Lumens. They might. Lumens. L-U-M-E-N-S. I think I think I know some people that still have them and they're mm -hmm. semi retired. I have to make sure I get one of those. If I knew I needed you know, one, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. you did both. Okay. okay, I can go ahead. All right, now, okay. once you've done the, nobody uses them, the hamburger one, you know. remember to stand it up like a mountain. It doesn't really feel like I scored it. Oh, good. Okay. Maybe, maybe the hot yeah. dog way? Hot dog way like a mountain. And then when you flatten it, then these two folds are going to be on the opposite uh -huh. side of what you scored a minute ago. Do you ever think you scored and you didn't? Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yeah, because I was thinking I was doing this. And yes, and then it pick, holds open. Yeah, pick the... Well, it did. Yeah. Mm. The first one went fine. Yeah. That's like, pick the whatever sharp, sharpest corner of your tool that you Mine isn't this way now. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're scoring on the opposite side of the page for this. So I'm going to look and see. Um, this is seven and a half. It's what, three and three quarters? Yeah. So, um, but one thing I like about these grid rulers is you can line it up and you know it's straight because of where um, where it lines up on the edge of the paper on those straight lines of the of the red lines. So you put that folds in. Well, and this is this is a little more rustic because um, of of the folding and the thickness of the paper. It's kind of like shutters, how they open up. Yeah, fold it. Right, crease that really hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carrie, mine was all by that much. Like here, when I go to fold it, see? What do you do? Cut it off. Cut it off. Mm -hmm. It won't hurt. Mine's like that, too. I mean, yeah, it's. Now, that, that cutter's not big enough for that one because it, it only goes up to 12 inches, so you'll yeah. have to cut it with your scissors. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, this is handmade, mm -hmm. it's rustic. Mm -hmm. But what I like about these, I like. I went to an event. Uh, there was a, a friend of mine that um, collects exotic fish, and he built this fish house out in his backyard. And his wife was so excited mm -hmm. to get his fish out in that house and out of the house that ah. he made a party for uh, his fish. Mm -hmm. The the red you know, the the opening of the. Uh, the, the, whatever, I don't even know what he calls it. But I took one of these folded journals and I took some pictures while I was there. And then I went home and I made him a little storybook oh. that was just for that event mm -hmm. and just for him. Mm -hmm. oh, and enough. kids actually love these things, not only seeing you fold it, but then, then they can 
fill them in. Uh, it, they don't have to do watercolor. They can crayon, you know, draw, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can do this with drawing paper, too, if you want to make your own small little journal. Um, it just, just don't paint on it. So, so again, each, each of these creases need to be uh, emphasized. Then we fold it back to our first fold, and we put that fold at the center toward, the, yeah, the folded side toward you. Should paint, you know, point to your stomach. Then you take your scissors and cut only, only to the center. That's all right. Well, I had to try to It's like it's a great British baking show. So well, I, I got that show. Ah. Okay, then I'm gonna stand it up like this. That. It's you know, I turn it over, point points up. Y'all didn't know you're gonna work today, right? Winks up. <laughs> and then you stand it up, so you can stand it up, and then close it. And whichever way it seems to close best will be however it goes together. And see, some, mine even hang, hang out a little bit. It, you know, it's okay. It's okay because it's, you know, yeah. <laughs> Does that make you feel better when mine doesn't line up? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes. Did you cut it? Okay, so now fold it in half. Your very first fold. And turn this towards you. And you cut from there to there. Okay. Now turn this way. Turn it way. Turn it way. It is. It is. Yes, it is. It is what? It is joined. Yeah. It. Yeah. There's ways you can make them where they're not. Here you do. Yeah. Once it's like when you do that. When you do that. Oh, see, I know the part I don't see. You face. You have to make the mess like this one. I think I was at this point and thought I was wrong. No. Good. Yeah, okay, so when you do journaling, you have a choice of what kind of journal you want. You can hand make them, you can purchase them, you can cut up paper and make them. When we first it was on the registration up, on the red the if you, do you have the email from her that says do you want to join the water park class? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What are you looking for? Art by Curious. Art by Curious. Oh. Art by Curious. Oh. Go to the website, Art by Curious. But that's what I, there. oh, yeah, it is. That's, that's how I got to that website, is clicking on it. That's okay. I, you, I will provide pretty much everything you need today. Um, what, another thing you can do with these is you can poke holes. See like this one I sewed together. You can poke poke holes in it. Did you just use regular string? I use dental floss. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, Trey, you have the most unusual <laughs> mind. I have to say that you do not appreciate the inventiveness that you So, where do you possess. poke the holes then? Okay. Uh, All the way through. You, you, when, you when you open it up to the center, yeah. mm -hmm. I poke okay. four holes. I started in the center. Okay. What did you poke them with? Um, I might have done it with a needle. I've got needles. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I might have done it with an awl. Really have, yeah, I would say oh, yeah. an awl so is, is probably better. better. Yeah. Um, but if you want to poke holes, find it, Hillary? I did. Thank you, darling. Yes. Thank you. I, thank you. I don't know what made me check today. No, I just it, 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 it slipped my mind. I thought I had everything. I, I knew I had the, my whole packet I had bought from Gary, but the watercolor paper in that is. Like, yeah, you know, it's a little no. Well, maybe I bought it. 
Who knows? If I, bought, if I can, I just keep buying stuff. And, and my Capital One card. Yeah, exactly. Man. I have another all somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, Okay, so if I want to poke holes in this one, the one I just made, don't put your fingers where you're poking the hole. <laughs> I know that by experience. Don't put your fingers where you're poking the hole. Your hole, you're coming out the, the spine. So just aim and push out. And then I go up toward the top about a half inch. Down here about a half inch. And then I half that. So there, and what a nice pit yeah. yeah, and then nice and then I have uh, large needles that you know it's really hard not to miss the eye of these, mm -hmm. yeah. and and you you can you can do dental floss, you can do embroidery floss, right, and and make it all cool. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that both ends end up on the outside so you can tie a little bow. And uh, we're not, I won't do that today, but if you want to do it, uh, I can pass this around. You're welcome to uh, punch holes in it. Mm -hmm. um, but it is kind of neat when it's sewn together. This one's sewn together. And, and it, you know, it just looks a little more finished. This is one that I cut individual sheets to. And, well, that's drawing paper on the inside. Sorry, that's not what I need. Anyway. the one you punch the holes in Sure. Where is it? There it is. Pass that around. Okay, before we go any further, what I want y'all to do is get that little Sharpie out that I gave you. You might have already brought one that wasn't on the supply list. I want you to put your name on your stuff. If, um, you know, even, even your water bottle, the lid, put your name on the water bottle lid because that's going to be your reservoir for your pen. Uh, you can drink it also, but uh, oh, these are mine. Do you want to borrow one? I just wanted the little sharpie. Look, it's in your bag. Oh, the bag I gave you. The yeah, I gave you. you open it's your little, in the bag. Uh huh. It's in the bag. I didn't even look in the bag. Look in the bag, Hillary. Okay, here's another way you can make journals: is I cut watercolor paper and sewed it together, and then I. When you fold them in half, you, you I, I cleaned up the edge. So, you know, this was like five by ten. We're going to, I think, write everything in the bag. Yep, we're about to paint. Even on these guys. I would, I would put your name on everything. Um, it's just because you all have similar things. And you're right next to each other, or things get passed around, yeah, then uh, <laughs> then you know what it, what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look inside your bag, and there's another option for a journal, and I wanted each of you to have that option, and that was how you chose your bag today, was the pattern on the outside on this okay I also for each of you cut up one sheet of paper so inside your baggie you should also have another bag of cut paper okay what I would like you to do with that cut paper is slide those sheets inside your photo album journal so that as you turn a page, you see two pages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One page makes eight pieces. So just like the one you just folded up, you will have eight places to paint. If you do the one you just folded, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I, what I like to do on these is I make the front the cover. Obviously, it's a book. And then on the inside, sometimes I'll go ahead and uh, number 
I might put a number one here, although you don't normally number your that first page in a book. In the photo album, number these. I don't in the photo. No, I'm in the my in the folded, folded book. Page. In the photo album, you can pull out and rearrange. So I don't number those. But in my yeah, folded one. one Sorry, I flipped back. Okay, but in, you said put them in here. Put the cut ones in there. Okay, but did you say just one on each thing? Because I did one, one. Don't right, no, yeah, one yeah, one on every side. I mean, so front and back. So there's blank ones left. So there's right. blank ones left. Right, we're going to okay, add to it. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. So your inside cover is one? My inside cover is one. But that way, so you're going to add to it because you're going to be painting in, your, in the class and you can decide whether... You know, there's there's good and bad about painting in a folded journal, Thank you. or painting or putting your paintings in a photo album. These you can move around. These you can take out. So um, this stays together the whole time. So. What I'd done in previous classes is students would do their painting, like this would be lesson one. And this whole thing would be what we learn in lesson one. And that's how they label it. And so when they want to review, they just pull out their little journal and review oh, lesson cool. one. Okay, the if you don't... Might be to bring some prepared like this. Right. Because I'm, that's why I'm showing you how to do it. So, but you're going to have a choice as to what kind of journal you want to play with. To me, it's very user friendly to use this because it's um, lightweight. It's uh, you know, it's you choose whether you want to show somebody it or not. Uh, it's it you know you're learning, so the stress is off. You're not trying to make a masterpiece. You're just trying to learn the process. Well, I didn't make a masterpiece of the book itself. Well, that's okay. I don't know what I did wrong, but I don't want it to look like that. <laughs> but, no, and if you're really frustrated not, with it, it's, none of us are completely aligned. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, sometimes sometimes mine turn out better than others, but you know, it's not that big a deal. For practice, right? I wanted you to know the process. Yeah. And. If you want to make something small, you can you can fold as small as you want. Now the the index cards are not watercolor paper. If you try to fold watercolor paper this small, it will not do well. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't use a lot of water, you can paint on index cards, and it's it's fun. So what kind of paper did you use? Box. These were index cards. Mm -hmm. What? You put your little journal in an eraser box. Only you can come up with this. Well, it was it was perfect size. Yeah, mine. You know. You notice that index cards are a lot thinner than they used to be. Yes, yes. they're I mean, so cheap. I know. I know. Yeah. Except for me. Is this 140 pound paper too? Is that your yes. Favorite? Yes. What what I cut up yesterday for y'all. What I what I use for most of my. Uh, work with watercolors, 140 pound paper, mm -hmm. and it's cold press. Cold press has some texture to it. Hot press is really smooth and usually more expensive. Uh, like I have a 300 pound paper uh, that's hot press, and um, it's like poster. Perfectly well, you said. Oh, I'm yeah. This way I can keep an eye on y'all. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> See, like this. I did the And then you have the outside. Five, six, okay. Yeah, front and back. Ooh, look at the edge okay. of that paper. Yeah, this is called a deckled edge. And a deckled edge is one you fold and then tear. Oh, wow. That's but this is 300 pound paper. You hear the difference? Wow. See the difference? Did you actually score it when you folded it or mm -hmm. not? You just folded it. Mm -hmm. That creates a very cool edge. Yeah, it's really neat. Uh, and you can do that with the 140 pound, but it's very time consuming to yeah. fold everything multiple times and then tear it. 
Uh, I will show you that before you, you know, uh, but if you like that edge. Have you um, ever um, tried to burn the edge? You know, to give it that little you, no, vintage look? I haven't okay. with this. Okay. I hope you would burn that. But I have a journal. Now my daughters, my daughters gave me this journal. It's not watercolor paper, but it's very similar. Uh, but it has those deckled edges. And this is the one I started the uh, cats in. Oh my gosh! Uh, this is this is my. Yes. Like Tippy had a bad ear infection when he was rescued. The tilt of his head is how he walks. That's his name. So all of, all of these are rescue kittens from Kofus. Rescue kittens are cats. I love him. He, w he was an, an adult that was returned when his uh, owner had to go to a nursing home. But it's, it's their stories. And uh, it's just a neat way to document stuff. So, the, the, you know, that book? Uh, somewhere down near Disney World. So, what does it say on the cover? Oh, it says, uh, your head is a living forest full of songbirds. Oh, full of what? Songbirds. <laughs> your head is a living forest full of songbirds. <laughs> I just did exactly what you told us. <laughs> okay, I can't claim that. Shame on you. Well, you're a doctor. You should know how to take care of it. <laughs> Okay, so the, the part of the fun is the journal. What kind of journal do you want to use? Um, the joy of these, and I usually always carry uh, extra paper with me because um, I like to share my passion with others. And um, they'll see me working on something and I'll just go, oh, look, yeah, let me show you how to do it. So if I have a loose sheet, I can pull out a loose sheet and show the oh she got hooked out yeah turn the turn it toward the wall okay. not toward the door um but like here is here's a watercolor journal from a class and we're gonna we're gonna do some of these techniques and then this is like from less day one um but anyway it's it's whatever you want I mean, this was a little bigger uh, we were watercoloring outside. So, all right, so getting sidetracked. So whatever you're going to be comfortable with, whether it's the individual sheets or whether it's working in a journal, it, I'm, not, I'm not picky about. If you want to just paint in a already made uh, journal like the ones that I showed you earlier, if you happen to have something like this and want to put it in there, that's fine. I don't care. Um, not all of us are going to have the same watercolor kit, and that's okay too. So, okay, um, does everybody have a journal okay, or something to to paint with in? All right. Also, in your kit, uh, you should see a card that's wrapped in blue tape. Card that's wrapped in blue tape. I don't know that I have that. Um, okay, that. Uh, yeah, the, the, all that is is a easy way to transport tape. This takes up a lot of room, but you can get. I just did a half an index card, fold it in half, or you could do a business card. I just didn't want to waste my business cards on that, or an old gift card. Wrap tape around it, tape, 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 layers and layers of tape. So when you need tape, mm -hmm. you just pull it out and it'll it'll come off. You're so innovative. So that's what I mean. Her mind is always coming. <laughs> I didn't get all these in. Things. I didn't come up with all these myself. Wow, you didn't have to tell us that. We would have believed you did because you always have these cool ideas. Because I was going to either yes or no. 